Welcome to exercise 7, climbing your aircraft. So, we are currently flying at 3000 feet and we now need to climb to our assigned altitude that we have selected or that has been given to us by air traffic control. So when flying our aircraft, we use the acronym PAST, that's the procedure for us to climb, it's called um, Papa Alpha Sierra Tango. This is for a nice flow to make sure we are doing everything step by step to ensure a proper cl climb. So first things first, getting onto Papa, it stands for power. So when flying a reciprocating engine or piston engine, single engine, you need to apply full power as the single engine aircraft doesn't have enough power to actually climb at say 70 or 80 percent so always use full power when you are also then have gone or added full power wait for your speed to increase this just helps build momentum and assist you in making the climb that much easier and much more efficient from the um, speed we go into attitude so we then um, basically just want to keep the dashboard above the horizon for a perfect cruise climb when you actually put the dashboard on a horizon in an actual aircraft you will see that your climbing speed for single engines that is normally 75 knots or 85 miles is obtained without even looking at your airspeed indicator then last as always once you've set yourself up for the climb then retrim your aircraft so you are able to maintain the climb and do not have to hold on to your controls the entire time and then making your arms tired so just um, alleviate your arms from the back pressure of the control column before we get started in the actual procedure just one word um, that I see so many students actually um, find a bit of a problem they go full power and then start raising the nose immediately this basically slows down your aircraft tremendously instantaneously so let me demonstrate here they go full power and start raising the nose and for some reason they also tend to do it in a quick jerk um, manner so look there now i've also almost lost all my speed from this part so i don't want you to um, go full power and then immediately raise the nose or raise the nose towards the canopy like it's a fighter jet this is also not very um, uh, this is not very etiquette for flying single engine aircraft okay so now let's start with the procedure of past first um, we know we want to climb from here so to help us and assist us to set your heading back in the middle to make sure we are maintaining our track so starting with the climb power add full power and we're maintaining straight and level we're waiting for rpm to build up as well as our speed now we see we have enough and sufficient speed now we gently raise the nose towards the top of the horizon we can confirm the altimeter is um, increasing therefore we are increasing in height also remember our vertical speed indicator is not instantaneous so therefore it will tend to fluctuate at first and then um, stabilize at a proper rate of climb for us so there we set this climb we are happy with the rate that we are climbing and now instead of holding on to the con um, control with back pressure now you can just trim the aircraft out nicely so you can still keep your hands on the control column but the control isn't fighting you back or um, requiring you to apply full back pressure 
the entire time perfect so we are going to level off at 5000 feet now the level off procedure is Alpha Sierra Papa Tango so it's just we are going to lower the nose for a straight level attitude then wait for our speed to increase again because um, usually when you find the actual aircraft you should be about 75 knots or um, 85 miles an hour and once we have established um, level flight we'll come back on a power 2300 uh, rpm for the cruise and then retrim so we're just waiting for 5000 feet just a few feet and then we can start lowering the nose gentle on 5000 feet now wait for the speed to increase the speed increases now start reducing the rpm to 2300 rpm and this will also give us a no nice nose down um, view where we can actually then fly straight and level okay the aircraft has now actually established itself a nice straight and level and then you can retrim to make sure we maintain 5000 feet and just alleviate that little bit of pressure on your arms from holding the controls now for added safety feature we are going to do what's called the Frida checks so Frida checks it's called Foxtrot Romeo Echo Delta Alpha so Foxtrot is for fuel confirm we are on both or if you're flying a single engine low wing aircraft sometimes it doesn't have both it only has a right or left from here you will now switch to the next tank from the uh, tank selector we will confirm quantities in our fuel tank and confirm it's enough to where we need to fly from here we are going to Romeo it's basically called for our radios so confirming we are on a correct frequencies that we need to um, talk over the radio with and we will then move on to echo which is the engine to so just confirm oil and temperatures are within the green after the climb because they usually tend to uh, run a little bit water from here we will then set compass to di so you'll confirm what is your compass heading so currently that looks about um, 020 so we'll set the compass up for 020 and then assist take our heading bug to assist us with the actual heading just to keep track where we are flying from here we're gonna go to alpha which is the altimeter cruising at 5000 feet for elected altitude and furthermore we'll go to the last one which is Sierra just for safety to say safety harnesses and doors doors and latches is still locked as when we took off and if we have completed the free dust from now on then every 15 minutes you will actually conduct your free dust checks with emphasis being on confirming your compass to di is elected when we are climbing remember the higher we climb the less dense the air becomes so therefore you need to lean your mixture meaning reducing the mixture lever every 1000 feet in the actual actual aircraft and i hope in some of your simulators you can actually turn the mixture knob clockwise or anti-clockwise so if we are climbing we need to lean the mixture so this means one rotation anti-clockwise or just a little bit of a reduction in the mixture to confirm the fuel and air ratio mix is correct perfect so that is the climb procedure with the freedom checks now that you have seen how that is done one extra we're gonna now climb to 6,000 feet 
and I'm gonna go through everything one more time so what I want you to start doing now before climbing have a good lookout to the left over here at your dashboard to the right confirm we are well clear of any um, obstacles or aircraft that might be uh, flying right? so from here on we will then add a full power we'll hold strain level wait for the rpm and airspeed to increase once we have sufficient we'll gently raise the nose to the horizon horizon and once we have set ourselves or establish ourselves in the climb we will then retrim the aircraft to maintain our optimum climb for that part perfect so now we just um, keep on climbing and while we are climbing we confirm are we on track um, is our vertical speed indicator showing uh, rate of climb is the optimator increasing so showing and also just a little bit of more information to make everything that much safer for us while we climbing okay so we're almost getting ready to level off now at 6,000 feet and like I say, always remember to just gently release a bit of back pressure on the control column to lower the nose because you don't want to push the aircraft's nose actually down towards the landing gear. That tends to actually give passengers that weightlessness feeling and makes it very uncomfortable. So just a few feet before level off, we let the nose basically just lower on 6,000 feet wait for the speed and rpm to increase for our cruise get yourself in um, a stable straight and level flight there we have the speed now we reduce the power to 2300 rpm and as always trim to so set yourself up and that's it for climbing your aircraft and remember every 1000 feet then to reduce or lean your mixture with one anti-clockwise turn. I'll see you guys for the next exercise. Have a lucky day!